What's up guys? So it's Candyman and I'm back. And today I got a video on uh, cut-in. I want to show you how I do my cut-ins on like a rear body on the inside. Those I do before I actually do the paint job. I know I told you guys I like to do everything at once, but I don't want to blow all that paint inside that trunk when I'm doing the trunk. So I always do the inside of the trunks first. And then I go ahead and paint the outside of the car and I'll dust it later once I get the color mixed up for the uh, inside to make it have the right look. So I just want to show you how I do the cut in on the rear bodies. And on this particular job, we ran out of the right color seam sealer. So I'm going to show you how I do it to make it match that I learned from a good buddy of mine, Mark. One of my good buddies showed me this trick a long time ago, so I'm going to share it with you guys. And it'll definitely help you, you know, to have something look right and step it up when you guys are in the paint shop doing these cut ins, guys. So stay tuned to this one. And I think you guys will really get something out of this one. So. Appreciate it. So here's the job I'm talking about, guys. We put a rear body in this car and uh, we use a two-part seam sealer inside. But you see here, the original is like a, a, a beige and we don't have that at the moment. So we had to use this. And I'm gonna show you how you can do something with that to make it match. Cause we like to go with the factory look when we do our uh, cut-in. So I wanna show you this one, guys, through the, through the cut-in on it and uh, Show you what you can do to make it look like it's factory even if you don't have the right seam sealer so stay tuned seal the inside of this with the uh, p30 gray that i had mixed up from a job that's already in the booth so i could use that sealer up and then i'm going to hit it with some of the green e-coat just to give it the right color and then we'll go from there with it so i'm going to grab the sealer now and put a little on there like I said, I had it mixed up from the job that I just, I'm working on in there now. So we'll go ahead and make the, the most out of what we already got mixed up. So stay tuned on this one. So we went ahead and put that sealer on there just so we have something that's actually, uh, you know, strong and it's gonna treat that metal because it's, it's a direct to uh, E-coat. So now I'm gonna put something green E-coat of the can on it. I'll show you the E-coat can we use just to get the right green. And then I'm gonna show you the trick I was telling you guys about. So stay tuned guys. So here's the stuff we're gonna use and this is the E-coat and uh, it's called by Ravine and it's the olive green. They make different colors of it so you guys could dial in when you're doing something, but I recommend putting down a real uh, 2K before you put this down, that way it's treated. And you know that this is just for the color purposes. It's not for the actual, um, you know, holdout and uh, corrosion protection. So use a product that's 2K, then use this just for your color. Cause we're gonna dust this with the actual color of the car too, to get it the right look. So here, here we go with the uh, Eco Green. So we got the eco green on it and I went ahead and blended it out into the quarters there, you'll see. Let me put the light on for you. You just wanna blend that out, blend it out like you're doing a blend. And uh, when I come back and hit it with the uh, seam sealer, what I'm gonna show you on this, and then I'm gonna hit it with the outside color to give it a little candy gloss over the top so it just blends it all in and makes it look like it's never been repaired, guys. So that's the kind of work I like to do. I like it to be, you know, it's nice to do a good paint job on the outside of a car, but when you open up the inside, that's usually how you could tell a bad repair. So to me, it's key to make sure you do the inside as nice as the outside when you're doing these cars. And that way it's a quality repair. And uh, also underneath all that stuff has to be look like it's OE as far as I'm concerned. Put the car on a lift, cut it in the way that it should. That way it all looks like it's never been in an accident, guys. 
So I like to do that stuff and I'm going to show you the little trick I was telling you guys about on the seam stealer. So stay tuned and uh, check this out. But it's all e-coated now and we're going to go ahead and hit it with the uh, little trick I was telling you guys about. So guys, like I said, you know, I learned this from a buddy of mine and I've worked with a lot of top level guys through the career, my career and I've, uh, you know, started out at a kind of like a mom and pop shop and these people were really good. They showed me a lot of tricks. So they taught me things and I had a good teacher in the beginning when I went to a vocational school and I worked with a lot of top guys through the years. I met a lot of guys and, uh, you know, you learn things from them and they learn things from you and that's how you become better, you know. I've learned that, you know, if you stay in one spot, you won't learn anything new unless you're the only one, you know, if you're checking into things. Otherwise, you're only going to learn what somebody else teaches you or what you come across in life. So I'm willing to share everything I know to others and, and hopefully they're willing to share to me. So this is one of the things that I learned from a good buddy of mine. Like I was telling you, he's one of the best guys in the business I know. And uh, he always had different cool ways of doing things. So this one's... Uh, one of the things I learned from him. So you just go ahead and get you a cup and you, you mix up the paint, use your base coat and uh, tint it to the sealer color. And then you just go ahead and paint it like you would putting on the seam sealer. So it really works nice. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and mix me up some like of a beige color with my base coat, put a little hardener in it and I'm gonna brush it on there and I'm gonna show you how it looks all said and done. So I'm starting out here with a white and you know you can you can you know use if you got sealer different color sealers years ago I used to have a lot of sealer uh, different colors in sealer you could do it in that too so you can do it in sealer you can do it in um, in base do it whatever you guys got and whatever works but like I said the seam sealer we used is a very good two-part seam sealer but it's just the wrong color. So I'm trying to make it look like it hasn't been, uh, you know, fixed. So I'm gonna make something up. So I'm just putting a little black and I'm gonna put a little yellow to give it a little bit of a darker color because it's got a little yellowy look to it. So just mix it up, check it, and then go from there with it, guys. If it don't look right, just tint it out. It's easy to do, it's nothing special, so. But it'll separate the job. You'll see when I'm done, it'll look like it ain't even been in an accident at all, guys, so. Stay tuned and watch this one as it's all finished up. So I got me the acid brushes, that's all I'm gonna use. And uh, just go ahead and mix it up. Like I said before, guys, this is only for uh, looks. This isn't for, um, you know, uh, protection. It's already been, sealed up right and um, it's just got to be for looks this is only for looks and you'll see when I'm done with it how it'll look all done that's better now I got a little red I added in and uh, it'll be fine so yeah I wanted to um, show you guys this little technique I was telling you it works out nice you don't got to get real picky with it in the end you'll get it all cleaned up you just want to get this on here for now and then you can go back and fine-tune everything and make it look the way it needs to just get this go ahead and get this on so guys it's all done with the actual white and it's got to dry, it'll darken up and change colors, but that's just the one step so far, putting the seam sealer down. And it's nice because when you use this, you can actually blend it in. The water base blends in nice. If you get a little water on it, just clean it, blend this in. But I'm gonna show you the next step when this dries and uh, we'll go from there on it. But you'll see when I'm done, it'll look like a factory OE job never been dealt with. So stay tuned guys. So guys, it's all cut in and now it's got the seam sealer drying on it, but you can see how it's going to look when it's all said and done. 
I still got one more step to do to it to uh, blend it in with the uh, actual color of the car over top of all of it to give it like a candy gloss over the top. But when you do this, guys, it looks like it ain't ever been in a wreck or an accident. Because, you know, you could do all the best welds in the world, but if it looks fixed, it looks fixed. So to me, this is the, definitely the best way of doing it. And I'm going to show it to you at the last step, so stay tuned. All right, guys, we got the color of the car mixed up, and that's a 830M Honda. So I'm going to mix up a batch that has a little bit of uh, the base clear in it with the color. That way it glosses it over the right way. So I'll have two of these. I'll show you. I hit the edge around the edge with, the, with it fully um, concentrated of the right color. And then I go ahead and milk it out and gloss it over the inside because you know the, when the machines are spraying from way back by the time it gets into the trunk when they're going around the jam and all that on the, on the at the factory assembly line it just blows in with just a light amount but it's from the gun being way up in the air so for me to duplicate that i have to thin out the paint and actually give it like a candy effect over the top of the e-coat and the seam sealer to make it look oe so stay tuned and i'll show you so i'm going to grab me a small uh, d-cup Fill it up with some of the base clear and that's the uh, 920 base additive you only want to use a little bit of the color when you do it you don't want a lot you just want enough to just gloss it so put about that much base in it then I'm gonna add a little bit of the color in here so hold on a minute let me pour some in I'll show you so you can see here, see how it's more of a milky looking color? Cause that's the base coat, uh, the base coat clear with a little bit of that color and it. it's got a real look, weird look to it. But that's how you do it over the top of that e-coat to get that factory look. So stay tuned as I go ahead and spray it on and show you the finished product. All right guys, right now I got the full color with all the uh, full concentrate in it. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit I'm gonna go ahead and hit the edge of this here. See this edge? I wanna get full con uh, color on this because if you look here, you'll see it. Look right here and you'll see it's got color all on the edge. So I wanna get this edge fully colored and then I'm gonna go ahead in here and candy gloss it with the other stuff. So stay tuned. a little bit and now I'm gonna switch to the thinned out base and show you how I go over the other stuff with it now this one is the one I said before it's all milked out with the base clear with a little of the color of the car over the top and this one here you just want to dust it just to give it the look that it had from the factory of when it was blowing in over the top of it from the outside when they're painting it guys so when you do this this effect to it it just looks perfect when it's all said and done. So it's got to dry, it's all done. But you can see it matches the perfect OE look, guys. It blends in beautifully. And it's never looks like it's ever been repaired, guys. So just doing that little step, painting the seam sealer, doing the candy gloss over the top of the Addy coat, and doing the edge the way it's supposed to be. That's got to dry so it's still blue yet. But when this is all done, I'll show you the whole job on the outside painted. I got to paint the outside here in a minute and I'll show it to you finished with the back done, the inside done, and you'll never know what even happened guys. So stay tuned when I show you the finished product. So guys, that's the job all done. The body's done on the outside, the cutting's done on the inside. And as you guys can see, it looks very OE. And uh, just the way I like to do it, guys, I like to have it look like it's never been uh, in a uh, accident. So hope you guys appreciate this one. Job came out clean, nice. I did the two quarters, a bumper, new trunk, and the back reveal panel, and the gas lid door. Everything looks real clean. Won't even have to nib it. So came out beautiful. So guys, if you have any techniques and stuff like that, you know, don't hold them and keep them to yourself because, you know, 
you're keeping them with you and when you die you you know they're, they're not being passed on any little tricks in, of the trade that you have so you know don't be afraid to show other people and learn everybody can learn from each other and, and you guys can teach things that'll pass on through the business so to me i'm not ashamed afraid to you know teach people my techniques or anything i learned through the years of through uh good guys that i work with so you know i wasn't always you know at the top of my game and for a long time I was just learning how to be better and better you know and sometimes you know they'd say like Mike, uh, Muhammad Ali would say he said the will can outdo the skill so if you have it in your will to be good and learn everything you can guys you know just keep learning taking it in soaking up as much as you can and pass it on and, and let's get this uh, you know people learning through these videos so hope you liked it and hope you appreciated it guys and so guys, like I always used to say, all we want to do is see taillights leaving these shops since taillights leaving the paint booth. But as you can see, I don't have any taillights in this one, guys. So until next time, I hope you guys like it. Subscribe, join, and uh, hit the bell, guys.